everyone, so today is Monday and you might have seen me post about this on my Instagram page already because I would have been posting about it all week but I am going to attempt a little style challenge. Now you guys know I love the colour black, the majority of items in my wardrobe are black, I own a lot of black shoes, I own practically all black accessories aside from one, uh, one red bag, so I'm going to try and not wear black for one whole week. So seven days, I'm gonna do this up until Sunday and just see what it's like mixing up my wardrobe a bit and trying not to rely on the color that I always rely on, which for me is always black. So I'm gonna ditch my style comfort blanket and kind of document it, show you how it goes, show you the trials and tribulations, like whether it's easier than I thought or more difficult than I thought and just basically check in with you every day and show you the outfits that I'm wearing now. This is kind of a response to, I put up a like 10 key pieces in my capsule wardrobe video about two weeks ago now, I will link that up somewhere for you here and the top comment was like I like you but I find your capsule wardrobe content a bit boring and I totally get it I love feedback I completely take things like that on board and lots of people were agreeing so I thought because capsule wardrobe content can be a bit samey because obviously I've got quite a small wardrobe I try not to buy new things all the time I try and reuse old outfits I thought this was a way of me sort of mixing it up a little bit and hopefully showing you some outfits that I haven't shown you before, some different combinations and just going a little off piste with my style choices for once. I mean, obviously there's gonna be nothing crazy here and it's all just still things I already have in my wardrobe, so you probably have seen them before, but hopefully not in this way. But I wanna say thank you so much for that comment because it really put like a rocket up my ass and made me get a little bit more creative with things. So I really hope you enjoy this and this is outfit number one. So today has been a bit of a weird one style-wise because today was the day that I took a shitload of photos for my blog and so I was sort of mixing outfits and sort of changing lots and we did various different things today. I think we shot about nine blog posts. I've kind of been in and out of outfits. However, now it's much later on in the day and I'm going to go out with some friends for dinner. So this is a very kind of casual but like a nice smart casual evening look and I've basically gone for head to toe white. Um, I would normally go for head to toe black so instead I'm just going on the other end of the spectrum with a little uh, pop of leopard print which you will see and also a bit of red which is my bag this is from whistles and I don't really know what to do about bags because this is the only colorful bag that I have got so I think I'm going to allow myself black bags because otherwise I'm just going to have to wear this all week and sometimes it's not the most practical because it is quite small so I think with bags there's going to be a bit of black creeping in but everything else I will try and keep colourful. Um, so this is from Whistles but I've just taken the strap off so I can wear it as more of a clutch. And then this is the outfit. I feel like I'm going to like a Love Island white party or something like that. Um, the top is from Topshop. It's like a wrap top, has a sort of little grippy bit here. Just very nice and floaty and I've got like a little bra top underneath which is from Urban Outfitters. Everything from all of the outfits will be linked down below so if there's anything that you like the look of then check that out. Then these are my Acne Studios. They're kind of like crop sort of slim leg jeans and then for the feet I've gone for my Topshop sliders which are the leopard print ones they're real leather I absolutely love these I think I'll be getting a lot of wear out of them this week <laughs> current mood not missing black feeling like Liz Hurley <laughs> so today is Tuesday and if you want to see what I got up to today I actually vlogged so um I will link that up there for you if you want to see what else I got up to but just ignore today. Like today was one of those days where I came on my period, I feel like I, I do actually quite want to wear black because black is just so slimming and I just, I just love it. <laughs> but I was good even though all I did was like go out to run some errands. I still didn't wear black. I resisted it. I'll show you what I wore. Like I said, this is very low key outfit. This is definitely not a hashtag style inspiration going on here. Um, so let's just go through it quickly. It is the all year round, I think it's called the Rivioli top, which is like a very fine knit then my Urban Outfitters BDG like mum jeans that I actually spilt some baked beans down but um, I'm still wearing them. Then I wore my espadrilles, you, you know the ones, the, the Marley, oh, I'll show you, just in case. These are the ones I wore my espadrilles into town and I did actually wear a bit of black because I wore my Celine like trio zip pouch thing but like I mentioned it's going to be hard not to have black bags because that's all I have and there's no point buying a non-black bag for this video and I needed something with a bit of extra space in it so I couldn't wear my whistles one. So I did wear a little bit of black but my actual outfit itself is still non-black. Um, but yeah, like I said, today is not the one, but I'm keeping it real. 
and I'm keeping on track with my style challenge. So hopefully tomorrow will be a bit more, uh, a bit more exciting. <laughs> so it's Wednesday and I'm currently on a trip with L'Occitan, which is very exciting. We're in Provence. Um, we drove about an hour away from Marseille airport and we're in a beautiful hotel. I'm just gonna butcher the pronunciation. So I'll just say, a beautiful hotel but today I had a day of traveling and I didn't wear anything very exciting I just wore my like I'll show you the pile the leftover pile and the stories t-shirt urban outfitters jeans and then I wore my espadrilles with them so nothing fancy to travel in but we're going out for a bit of dinner now so I've changed into something a little bit more exciting but I have realized I think this is exactly the same outfit that I wore on Monday yeah I think it was Monday so apologies that there is a repeat in here but I think I found that in lieu of being able to wear black I just revert to white. Like white becomes my new base color, especially because it's gonna be really hot here. A lot of things in my wardrobe that are white tend to be very summer, kind of suitable. And so I've just gone for all white again, but I will show you because I've done a pop of color this time. And I think I'm gonna wear a black bag, which I know kind of breaks the rules, but like I said, I don't really have any others to pick from. So I'll show you the outfit in full. So this is what we're working with. I've got the Chloe Faye bag. If you wanna see a six month long review of this, I will link that video for you somewhere uh, and then the top shop like wrap blouse top which I just think is lovely the acne kind of cropped jeans and then my and other stories crazy like tomato orange mules so learn of the day is that my wardrobe is always going to have some kind of base color even if I get rid of black I just go for kind of the nearest alternative in plainness and that is white but I actually quite like it feeling the white feeling summery we'll check in tomorrow with hopefully something that isn't all white, but I have a feeling I've packed my outfits for tomorrow and they are all white. Today you're getting two outfits for the price of one because there is an outfit change involved. And so outfit one is very casual. We're just doing some like wandering around. I think we're gonna go visit a lavender field. So it's quite outsidey. So I'm not wearing a lot of clothes because it is boiling here. And again, I have reverted to my white denim. I have a few lessons learned, which I will share with you after I show you the outfit. So this is the outfit as a whole, and it is a whistle t-shirt. I've actually had this for quite a while. It's just like a, I think it's got a bit of linen in it. So it's very like light and airy. The Levi's 501 boyfriend kind of fit uh, shorts. I mentioned these in my 10 summer capture wardrobe essentials and they're awesome because they come up quite high and they're not like, well, they are a bit tight because I just washed them and I haven't worn them yet, but they get kind of baggy, which is nice in, in a good way. And then I've got the whistles bag because like I said, this is my only like non-black bag. I would normally wear a belt with these, but I haven't got a belt that isn't black. So today I've gone for a tuck in without. And then I'm wearing the Topshop like leopard print sliders, which I posted these on Instagram and someone said they were cheating because they have black in, but I feel like they're a, they're a pattern. If they were like plain black, that would definitely be cheating. But I feel like leopard print, I'm kind of letting it go. So a couple of things about white denim, which has become my new go-to. Very precarious to wear when you're on your period. Get dirty very easily. I don't have any of these issues with black jeans, but I have to say so far, I mean, we're kind of like what, midweek? Kind of, yeah, halfway through the day would be sort of halfway through. I feel so far like I'm not missing black. I feel like because it's been very summery and obviously I'm here and it just feels very normal to wear very like light and kind of airy outfits. So far I haven't missed it. However, I think when I get home and I've basically run out of white clothing because it all needs to go in a wash, that's when things probably get a little bit harder, I think. So we're back off home today sad face but we've got a bit of time to kill before we leave we were going to sit by the pool but I think it'll just be too hot and sweaty and we'll get all gross before we go on a plane so I've got kind of an outfit that's a little bit changeable I actually have a change of trousers in my bag for when we get back to the UK because I think it will be freezing compared to here so I've gone for a top and shorts number now there's not actually a full length mirror in this room so I'm gonna have to like pop you here hopefully I'm all in frame but all I've got on is my top shop sandals been getting so much wear out of these this week and these are my Levi's 501 boyfriend fit uh, denim shorts but in like a a kind of black washed denim but it's not really black it's just like a very deep deep denim and then my equipment like silk top and then I've just got a tote bag lux tan tote bag for the flight and then also this hat that we got given here I kind of love it I feel like my grandma would really like it 
but it's been keeping me very cool. So I'm basically just gonna be wearing this to the airport and then I've got my Urban Outfitters jeans in here to change into later on because I think it'll be a bit nippy. You know I said yesterday that I had a second outfit to change into. I completely forgot to show you it because I was busy moving into uh, my new room. This was Naomi's room, um, but she left early. So I was like, hey Naomi, you have a bath in your room. There is a bath over there that's literally big enough for about six people. Um, and so I moved into hers, it is so lovely. But all I wore last night was this top with the red skirt that I've got that you've seen a million and one times before. I'll insert an Instagram picture. But it's very similar to what I wore last night. I basically just wore that outfit, but with my top shop, leopard print sandals, loved it. So I'm now back in my normal surroundings and today I'm very excited because we're going to a gin festival. Never been to a gin festival, not really sure what goes on at gin festivals, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of gin drinking, so I'm very excited for that. And I will admit that today was a little bit tough because I've put lots of things in the wash because they were white and they've got dirty. I haven't done a wash yet. So today's outfit I'm not 100% sure with, but it doesn't include black. And I feel like perhaps without the denim jacket, I'm a bigger fan of the outfit, but I just don't own the only other jacket that I've got is this one. This and other stories trench, which is nice. That's, I didn't, not, that's not a gin festival jacket. It's not a gin festival jacket. So mm. I kind of had to go for my denim jacket. So I will show you what I ended up with. So this is the outfit as a whole. It is the Levi's, um, I think it's called like boyfriend trucker, ex-boyfriend trucker jacket or something. It's got, I think that's what it's called. It's got my name on it. And then underneath I've just got a and other stories like white plain t-shirt. This is a different one from the other day. It's a bit more baggy so I'm not too keen on how it looks tucked in but you know we're working with what we've got. Then I've got the Topshop like bananas in pajamas. Nice, very. I, w I would say they're not very comfortable. They're comfortable on the leg. They're a little bit tight around the middle but I really like the ruffle that they've got. Then the Topshop leopard print like wrap sandal things. And then I'm wearing it all with my Whistles black bag. Black bag? It's not a black bag, it's red. No black July, right? No, no, doesn't for a week, geez. So today is the final day of my seven days with no black items style challenge. And I have to say day drinking is good, but it means that you have a hangover at a really weird time of day. So I woke up at five o'clock this morning, like fully, eyes wide open, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm ready for the day. Um, had some cereal, felt like really hungry and a bit gross. Then went back to sleep till like 10 o'clock. But now I feel great. And today is a very chill outfit because all I'm doing is going to visit my grandparents, going to visit my parents for dinner, and just kind of having a very chill family day, like doing a bit of work kind of around the house and stuff. So nothing too crazy, hence a very, very, very casual outfit. So this is the outfit as a whole. I definitely need to put these jeans in the wash because they're getting like a little bit big and baggy. The thing I'm most excited to wear though is this Glossier jumper. I picked it up when I went to their showroom in New York and I absolutely love it. It is so soft, it is so lovely and I just feel like the ultimate fangirl whenever I wear it. I'm like, yep, yeah, love Glossier, can you tell? Then I've got on the Urban Outfitters BDG jeans which I've basically been wearing a ton this week. Um, yeah, like I said, they need to go in the wash though because they've still got the bait beam mark down them and they're definitely getting a bit like baggy on the knees and stuff. Then for shoes, I'm wearing my Selected Firm Marley Espadrilles, which people always say look too wide for me, but they're not actually too bad. I think it's just that I've got very narrow feet. Like my feet don't fall too easily, but they're just very comfortable. And like I said, just having a very nothing-y kind of day. So I didn't want anything too fancy on my feet. I can't believe this is the end. And I've actually managed to do seven days with no black items or clothing aside from bags. That was the one exception, but I feel kind of happy. And I feel like I've worn some outfits that I wouldn't have worn before. Like I definitely never did like head to toe white before. That was a real revelation. Also a revelation that it just involves so much more cleaning of the clothes because white gets dirty really quickly. But it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. I think this is partly to do with the fact that it's summer and so like I'm quite into wearing like lighter and brighter kind of clothing. I think in the winter it would be much more difficult. Um, but overall, I kind of liked it. I definitely think I will challenge myself more often to do no black items. Um, I'm gonna have a blog post about this, kind of more of my findings and reflections on the last week if you wanna kind of read more about it and read how to do one for yourself, how to like push yourself out of your style comfort zone. I think it was really fun. I would definitely do this more often. I love going head to toe all white like Liz Hurley. That's basically the takeaway from this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be back with a vlog on Wednesday. So I'll see you then. Bye.